My name is Terry Kimball, and I'm the President and CEO of the Chandler Chamber of Commerce. The Chandler Chamber has been a vital part of the business community for the past 100 years. We do this by providing programs and services that attract and retain many sized businesses in Chandler. We do that with a collaboration of our community partners, the City of Chandler, the City of Chandler's Economic Development Department, our education system, our K-12 education partners, along with our local colleges and universities, in addition to our hospitals and, of course, our Chandler 100 company. Tonight we're here to feature our top 100 businesses here in Chandler. Now sit back and relax and experience some exciting things that are happening throughout Chandler. Just a snippet, but I think you'll get the picture. I'm Christine Mackey. I'm the City of Chandler's Economic Development Director. You know, if we look at our projects, one of our most notable is Intel, Fab 42 under construction at the south end of Price Corridor. It's a $5 billion investment, one of the largest construction projects in the world. Jason Bagley, I'm the Government Affairs Manager for Intel Corporation. Great stuff happening here at Intel in Chandler. We have two major investments that are currently being constructed right now. Of course, FAT42, which is a $5 billion investment at our Ocotillo site, generating thousands of new Intel and construction jobs while that project's underway. And then secondly, just last month, we announced a $300 million investment in a new research and development facility here at our Chandler Boulevard campus. And that's going to generate several hundred new jobs and about a thousand new construction jobs. The $2.4 billion annual impact that Intel drives on the Arizona economy each year is really critical. There are few businesses that have that level of an impact on the local economy. But we all have to work together in order to continue to, to drive economic impact. My name is Robert Brenner. I am the Senior Vice President of Logistics and Distribution for Abnet. Abnet distributes everything from simple electronic components to large enterprise computing systems as well as embedded subsystems. I would think of Abnet as a key link to the, to the technology supply chain. We also have a lot of new excitement around some of the services that we're providing. So when I say services, it's actually assembly services and, and, and value-add services that, that are adjunct to or addition to the distribution services. And again, from a channel perspective, that creates jobs, that creates you know, obviously new opportunities, and it creates a new customer base for us. So it's a win-win situation. Infusionsoft under construction and I think that's probably one of our, our most exciting projects. Infusionsoft's already in market but they are expanding and, and we're looking forward to hosting the software company in, in the Price Corridor. I'm Eric Kioski-Smith, the Regional Development Director for Arizona for Infusionsoft. Infusionsoft is sales and marketing software that helps small businesses scale their business. It's all in one it's automation and it's a common database and a common interface to actually make their life simpler while also helping them grow their business. The facility that was available in Chandler fit our needs for the next three or four years. The Chandler Chamber, the business community and the government have been unbelievably helpful in ex expediting things for us and welcoming us, providing resources, introductions, so it really became a no-brainer uh, with the combination of the facility and the great support that Chandler gives businesses like ours. Continuum is a science and technology park that is being built by Capital Commercial Investments in Price Corridor. They've owned the building and, and the property for a number of years and are just done reskinning the building. The infrastructure is nearly complete. It's a science and technology park that will be second to none in all of Arizona. I'm Kevin Miller with Capital Commercial Investments. The economic impact should be fairly substantial. We plan this project to max out at 2.8 million square feet. And so with that, we're looking at potentially eight to 12,000 jobs. Uh, and some of the studies we did early on showed a 10-year uh, impact of actually just under $300 million. changed so much since we moved the airport into economic development was a new focus on how we can attract businesses here and also how we can attract businesses in Chandler and in Greater Phoenix to utilize our airport. We have a, a federal contract tower that runs seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. which is tremendous professionals that keep this controlled airspace functioning smoothly. They are one of the busiest contract towers in the country. Our operations have actually increased about 7% over last year. We were at about 180,000 operations total. 
which puts us consistently as this, about the 70th to 75th busiest airport in the country. On the educational side, working with Chandler Unified School District and Kyrene School District, they really are an asset when bringing companies in. Not only are they great educational institutions, but they are great economic development partners. I'm uh, David Schauer, and I'm superintendent of the Kyrene School District. You know, we are extremely important to the business community, and, and what we've learned is that our school district has a lot to do with um, the values of homes, and we are actually a selling point for the real estate industry. And we also know that companies look at the quality of what we provide and want to relocate to this area. And so as I look toward the future, I think we'll see more and more students who have individualized programs tailored for their own education and then the ability to track their own progress and take charge of their own learning. I'm Camille Castile and I work for the Chandler Unified School District. We have a very formalized strategic plan. It has been designed to create the ideal graduate and understanding that we are training the workforce of the future. It's very focused, very targeted and um, it really is penetrated our entire organization. I think if you looked at the past 15 to 20 years, we have been on a path of continuous improvement. And so I think you will see us continue to improve, and the ultimate goal is to be one of the best school districts in the nation. I am Dr. Linda Lujan, and I am the proud president of Chandler Gilbert Community College. Two really exciting things going on right now. The internship program that we're starting in partnership with the Chamber to provide our students opportunities for real world experiences and to ask our business and industry partners to mentor and, and guide students so that we turn them out knowing what it is to do the real job. The other exciting thing that's going on is our brand new announcement about the $13.4 million grant from the Department of Labor in partnership with four other community colleges in Arizona to train energy workers. Um, it's really exciting because high wage, high skilled jobs are going to be a result of, of that grant. Chandler Gilbert has a reputation of being that little pink college out in the middle of nowhere. Now we're in the middle of this dynamic and a growing region and we are not that little pink college anymore. At our incubator, we have a presence of University of Arizona, Continuum Science and Technology Park will have a University of Arizona presence, and we also have them here in downtown Chandler. They exist in the second floor of the community center space where they are conducting their school psychology, master IP, Teach Arizona, and a number of other programs. So just started occupying the space this last May, so they're really growing and, and we're re looking forward to having a, a long partnership for years to come with University of Arizona. On the Arizona State University side, we have two locations. One is here in downtown in our former public workshop and a partnership with Tech Shop. And then in Chandler 101, which will be the Rockefeller buildings built at the southeast corner of the 101 and 202, they'll have the Masters of Business Administration, the MBA, Corporate MBA program will be located there when those buildings build. I'm Mitzi Montoya, Vice Provost of the Polytechnic Campus of Arizona State University. One of the things that I'm very excited about that we have launched at the Polytechnic Campus is a technological entrepreneurship degree. Chandler is an incredibly entrepreneurial community and in fact is very strong in terms of the attraction and retention of science and engineering based companies. I believe this technological entrepreneurship degree, which went from zero students to 200 students in one year, is a preview into what the potential is for this region for the launch of new businesses. And we're also excited about having a partnership with TechShop in the new Chandler facility. So TechShop is really at the leading edge of the so-called maker movement. They're basically an open prototyping lab, so anybody in the community can use their facilities. Here in the College of Technology and Innovation, we work on something called iProjects, where I stands for innovation or invention or inquiry. And those projects are partnered with industry, where we work on solutions to real problems. And the students work with faculty mentors, as well as mentors from the company. And it becomes a win-win, where students are working on work that needs to be done, but also companies have the opportunity to preview students and potentially find future employees. I'm 
Christina Lanou. I'm the Senior Property Manager for Chandler Fashion Center. We've seen a lot of new exciting things happen and over about the eight, last 18 months we faced what they call our, our retail turnover. Uh, tenants that have been with us 10 years or longer so we were faced with a, a challenge of replacing over 300,000 square feet of new retail. Um, and that really gave us the opportunity to focus in on who are the critical retailers that we want to renew and then who are those game changer retailers that we want to bring to the portfolio that, um, that differentiate our tenant mix and also appeal to that core shopper. We're really proud of being part of this community. We contribute to Salvation Army, Be The Match, School Sense, and so we feel like it's a great place to shop but we also feel like we're giving back to the community as well. We are increasing our efforts to provide business counseling services and programs with other partners such as SCORE and our Small Business Development Center. My name is Kristen Slice. I'm a business analyst with the Small Business Development Center working with the Chandler Chamber of Commerce to bring great programs like HP Live out to the Chandler community. The Small Business Development Center is part of a larger network of small business development centers across the nation. Uh, here in Phoenix, we were actually a recipient of a grant called the Hewlett Packard Learning Initiative for Entrepreneurs. The Small Business Development Center of Maricopa is actually one of the first 22 recipients of this grant in the United States. So Chandler and the beautiful computers that you see behind us is one of our first locations, the first 22 in the United States. However, there are over 350 uh, grant recipients across the globe, which means that Chandler is leading the nation in bringing global programs to help small businesses expand and integrate technology more efficiently into their business. I'm Bill Morgan and with Tom Falesi, we're the SCORE representatives at the Chandler Chamber of Commerce. SCORE is a national organization composed strictly of volunteers and our goal is to provide advice and consultation uh, to you, new businesses to help them get started or grow. My name is Tim Bricker. I'm the President and CEO of Chandler Regional Medical Center. We are now part of Dignity Health, a company formerly called Catholic Healthcare West. And uh, while our name has changed as an organization, our mission remains the same. We continue to be in the business of providing high quality, affordable health care for anybody who comes to us in a time of need. Chandler Regional Medical Center is growing to meet the needs of a growing population in Chandler. We are in the middle of a, of a significant construction project that will add a new patient tower at the hospital. We will be bringing about 100 new patient beds to the community, including 32 ICU beds, a significantly expanded emergency department, uh, an expansion to our surgery capabilities. We currently employ uh, close to 2,000 people at Chandler Regional, and with the expansion of the hospital, we're planning to bring another about 200 uh, jobs to the area. The expansion represents a $125 million investment in the community, and um, we look forward to being a, a growing part of the community for years to come. My name is Richard Jordan. I'm the site manager for Air Products and Chemicals located in Chandler, Arizona. Um, as everyone might know, uh, we actually sell air. Uh, we're one of the largest industrial gas companies uh, in the world. Uh, we have around 22,000 employees, we're in over 54 countries, and provide uh, industrial gases. Air Products uh, decided to join the Chandler community back in uh, 1980. We, we go back as far as 1969, where we actually had an on-site facility at the old Motorola facility. This is a year of growth and expansion for us. We're just excited to grow with the city of Chandler and the Chandler area. We're also excited for the Chandler Chamber of Commerce and what it's done for us over the years. They've helped us to build relationships both with our customers as well as with the community. And so without the Chandler Chamber of Commerce, you know, we, we couldn't have done a lot of the things that we've done. The Chandler Chamber of Commerce is one busy Chamber of Commerce with over 360 events throughout the year and the Chamber representing over 75,000 employees here in the Chandler community. We welcome you to become a part of it. Thank you for being here and thank you for honoring our top 100 companies. Congratulations.